Hi, I'm bored. So today I'm just gonna head into Reddit and see what you guys have submitted. I don't expect much, it's Reddit after all. But who knows, maybe I find an interesting idea for a video or learn something. <laughs> learn something. Reddit, the future of learning. If you really want to learn something, you should use my sponsor Brilliant. I personally think Brilliant has made it very simple and fun to learn from their interactive courses on math, computer and science from entry level all the way to expert level. So head on to my link brilliant.org slash electroboom to get 20% off an entire year of Brilliant Premium. Now let's get on to the video. Roll the intro. Okay, boomers, that yeah, let's just do it. Your submissions better be inspiring. Okay, let's see what you've got. I caught my son chewing on electrical cord, so I had to ground him. I've heard this a thousand times. Won't it be harder to turn where it's loaded? <laughs> electro boom goes electro boom. Ahahaha, <laughs> got him. This is boring me even more. Let me sort by top. Is my community boring? Nah, it must be everyone else who's boring. Juicing a mango? I did not think that this was going to work, but here's how I did it. First, you're gonna need this a TikTok junk. You're gonna need an inverter, a 12 volt battery, some copper wire, and some sellotape. We put some wire and around his mango. Now we can simply just switch on the inverter and as you can see, now it is... What is this TikTok garbage? I'm not here to show you the magic of television and how to do video editing. Oh look, if I hold my hand like this, a cell phone will fall out of it. I couldn't hold it. Why do boys die earlier than us girls? No clue. Boys? Well, let's see if the car stops for the end of the road. <laughs> yeah, it's from my Tesla video. Why flat earthers are affected by 5G and normal people won't? Because the earth is flat, the waves go straight into their heads. Oh, free power. Do you know how many times I've seen this video? He did it in Maddie's way. Watch have a gay beat. <laughs> Mashallah, mashallah. Mashallah. My God, look at his unibra. He puts mine to shame. Mary, can you make this please? I want to know if it still works or not. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? It's shorting the live and neutral through the wire. If you really want to make something like this, you have to cut between the wires. Let's make one so you see. Here's my wire hanger that I put on my wall adapter. And it's obvious that if I plug it in, it'll short the power lines. What, it's not obvious to you? Sure. Let's give it a try for science. Convinced? Now, the solution is to cut these wires like this. We can also make them hold on to each other with a piece of tape or wire jacket like this. Here we go. Now they won't short the power lines. Now we can safely plug it in with no problem. Um, yes, the other problem is that you'll bring the live and neutral voltages right to your hand. That's a terrible idea. Mehdi just bought a $53,000 Tesla brand whiteboard for his videos. <laughs> People seem surprised by me writing on the hood of my car. What is it good for if you can't write on it? Mehdi, you two should form a band. Nice. Did he just directly copy the concept of my electric guitar video? Yeah, he just copied my patented electric guitar video. The wires at this end are tied together in pairs as you can see and each pair is attached to one of these cables which we can plug them into the wall power plug. Please join me for the first time to hear how it sounds. And one, two, three, four. <laughs> Well, which one of us played it better? If you think I did better, slap the like button. If you think he did better, slap the like button. Made my own Leyden jar. Hi, I hope you see this video a little boom. I made a Leyden jar of my own and let's see what happens. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Somebody actually learned something and made a super high voltage Leyden jar watching my video and he's still alive. <laughs> That's a plus for me. Good job, dude. You mad, bro? What is this? Oh, yeah. 
right away from the music. It's fake. Stationary coils, stationary magnets and the light turns on. Go away! Self-assembling wires. Oh yeah, this. A lot of people actually brought this to my attention. Self-assembling wires. So apparently if you put oil in a dish and fill it with some sort of ball bearings, as he says, and put high voltage across it, then those ball bearings start assembling into these legs that extend out like a live creature. Let's see if we can make it. The first thing we need is my ZVS circuit that can create 10 to 30 kilovolt of DC voltage. Oh sh**. What happened? Damn it. Did I blew it up? It seems like it's sitting on a piece of scrap metal maybe. Yeah, all this exposed circuit sitting on pieces of solder and loose wire did it. So the first step is to fix the circuit. Damn it. Okay, back in business. Now we need some ball bearings or iron powder maybe. Let's shave some iron. Pick them up with some magnet in the bag. There we go. Now we have our iron powder. Around the outside of another container with oil, I put aluminum foil. Now I put some of my iron and oil at the center of this. Well, it sank straight to the bottom, so I don't know if I can create the same effect. Anyway, I connect one terminal of my ZVS circuit to the outside and the other one to the inside. The polarity doesn't matter. Let's just do a quick test. Oh, there. Yeah, look what happens to the surface of the oil when I get close to it. Oui. The voltage is too high. See, I'm pushing the surface of the oil down. It's funny. Reduce the voltage a little bit. Now I put the wire into the iron shavings. See what happens. Ooh, they spread around quickly. Look at that. What if I put the foil inside? Well, let me bring all those irons to the center again with my magnet. Now I put the aluminum foil on the inside. Yeah, look, the iron particles are already jumping around. Let's see what happens if I bring my other contact close. Ooh, ooh. It seems like the particles are jumping back and forth between the wire and the outer wall. We start out with a petri dish and fill it up with castor oil. Castor then put oil. in metal ball bearings. Castor oil is a bit thicker than vegetable oil and keeps the ball bearings from moving around too fast. Well, I guess that's my problem. I don't have castor oil. My metal particles just jump around like crazy. Here I reduce the amount of oil significantly so it's much harder for the particles to move around. Let's see what happens. Oh, there you go, there you go. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at those tiny traces. I'm making some wires. Here's another one. It's like a living creature. Whoa, hey. Now, do I think this is a useful technology to use on living beings to create, say, new nerves or veins? Obviously not. If you put tens of kilovolts across any living thing, they'll just fry to death. Welcome to the Y. Nothing like us watching Medi during lesson. What does it say? You are connected as a student? Oh, <laughs> they watch it in class? Nice. Sorry if this is a repost. <laughs> they have such a cool job working at high altitudes with high voltage. See, the voltage is so high, although they're not connected anywhere, the electricity still jumps to their fingers, although they're covered with protective gear. Let me see if I can demonstrate to you with my magic wand. Now, here's my magic wand that can create 100 to 200 kilovolts. I'm gonna clamp the power button continuously on, and I'm gonna disconnect myself from everywhere and try to touch the output. Ow, it's jumping to me. See, although I'm not physically grounded, because my body loses charge fast enough, it continuously jumps to my body. Same as those guys touching the power lines. Noise arcs! It's like four and a half volt on big motor, which was a blower motor for an electric blower. 
Those arcs are weak, man. Nothing I strive for. Electro boom in a nutshell. Oh, gee. Are they alive? Yeah, it seems they're okay. What did the guy do? Did he just throw some wire onto the live wire? I have to watch it again. <laughs> My God. Well, fortunately, they are both okay. That's why I'm laughing. I wonder why they need a new one. Electrician wanted. Experience required. This time. <laughs> I think something's wrong here. Oh, come on, don't get into the water with all those live wires in it. Oh, he's on a boat, thank God. <laughs> New member joined the Society of Magicians. Wow, look at this. Now this is art. <laughs> it's beautiful. Look at all those arcs and everything. <sighs> oh, for the love of God. Never. Forget the bridge between the eyebrows. There you go. Now it looks realistic. Thanks a lot, Choice Abroad 7111. It's beautiful. Probably the best fan art I've ever had. Let me see if I can give you an award, actually. Can I give you 50,000 units of award? How do you do this? $200? And I think the money just goes to Reddit, not the actual artist. Otherwise, I would be happy. Let's see. Is there anything free? $15 for a choo-choo train? Pfft, forget about it. Medi rectified this. What is this? Wow, this is nice. See, the guy made a motor that he is levitating the rotor using magnets with a battery at the center and it starts turning. Not quite stable though. Hmm. Let's see if I can make one. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put four magnets, stick them on this steel surface so they won't move with all of them with north facing up. And then I'm gonna put two magnets at the end of my battery here with say north, south, south, north. So these two norths will be repelled up by the magnets beneath it and it... Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't put it on a steel surface. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'll put four magnets on this piece of wood here that can push my battery up and float it. So I'm going to stick these magnets on the piece of wood with another magnet underneath them to hold them better in place. Okay, we have our four magnets here and can we float it? There you go, it's... Why is it so hard to balance magnets on magnets? Okay, I decided to do it like this with six magnets and the two side ones raised so it creates a valley that the battery can drop inside a little bit better and I have to keep pushing it to one side otherwise everything will just flip over. Okay, there you go. Now all I need to do is to short the battery through the magnets with a wire. Damn it! My battery is dead! So I'm gonna use my lithium ion batteries that can do over 10 amps! Here we are. Now turn. There you go! It's turning! <laughs> Finally! Well, it's turning for the exact same reason I explained in my simple DC motor video. But now, instead of the wire turning, the magnet's turning and the wire is stationary. <laughs> not bad, we had a good run. And most importantly, I'm not bored anymore. And we learned a few things too. But if you want to continue learning while having fun, then make sure to visit my sponsor, Brilliant. Everyone knows they need to learn more. And although some things may sound too complex, you can still learn them if you have fun doing it. Why do you think I lose an acre of skin in every video? That's what Brilliant also does. It teaches you how to think and solve problems with fun, interactive lessons in STEM. With Brilliant's hands-on approach, you learn by doing. If you have to do it, then why not enjoy doing it? Is what I always say. At Brilliant, you learn by being involved in your course, touching and turning and moving things, solving problems in real time in math, computer and science. That's how knowledge gets stuck in your head. Just look at this course that teaches you neural networks. It has an example of the neural network that when you write something, it can recognize what you wrote. Like zero, there, it's a zero. Two, there you go, a two. Or in this course, in 
algorithm fundamentals. You learn about algorithm and coding by doing interactive examples of putting your own code together. Awesome. When you visually interact and solve your problems, you develop intuition for tough concepts that enables you to understand and see the best way to a solution. You know you need to learn, then join the community of over 8 million learners and educators by clicking on my link in the description or visiting brilliant.org/electroboom. And thanks for watching.